Hi folks, the title of this video is Staying on Track. Yes, I know it's a cheesy railroad metaphor, but it gets the point across, which is not to give up and stay focused. This video is a sequel to my previous video titled How to Make Money Starting in 1850, A Simple Approach. And that means in this session we are going to stick with that philosophy, keep things simple and straightforward, and still make money. Let's get started. Smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Or just give it a thumbs up for yourself so that you'll always be able to come back and watch it again if you need to. So if you recall from the previous video, the setup we had to start out with is we have a farm over here that supplies grain. We have a food processing plant on the left and our city of Colorado Springs in the middle that takes the food. And we've got a little bit of a truck line there just to support it. So that's where we are. Now you're all caught up. Let's get going and start making some more improvements. It looks like our truck line here that supplies food to Colorado Springs needs a little bit more help. So let's go on to that truck station. Click on the food trucks, manage vehicles, and yeah, we've got some that are in bad condition too. So let's sell those. Get rid of those donkeys and let's buy some more. So why don't we just click on that one and clone it. And let's clone it again. Okay, hopefully that will help out. The next thing I'm going to do is take out a loan. Why am I going to do that? Well, I need more money. I don't want to break the bank, but I need money to buy trains. And trains are where the money is. So we're only 7,500,000 in debt. Let's borrow $1 million. And hit pause. Now if we take a look at the Colorado food trains, I've got two that are mediocre and I'd like to buy another train so I could sell one of those and that'll give us a little bit more money. And the other reason to sell one of these is that I'd like to have the condition of my vehicle spread out. I don't want them all to be bad at the same time. So train number one is probably the worst out of the mediocre, so let's pick that one and sell it. Now we've got $2.8 million. Let's go to our train depot and buy another train. So I don't have a ton of money, but I'll go with the General. It's the best train or the best locomotive I've got right now. So we'll add that and then go to wagons. And let's see how much we can afford. So let's add five of those. We made it. Can we add six? And maybe we can add three of these. Maybe we can add four. Okay, let's do that. All right, and we'll buy that vehicle. And we'll put it on the line. And hit play. Our bank account's going to take a little bit of a dip because we just had a big outlay of cash, but that's okay because that train's going to make some money for us. Let's check out our truck station to see how it's doing. Well, it's getting overloaded. We're getting that little warning sign. So let's add a couple of more trucks. Go to the food trucks, manage the vehicles. Let's take two of them. Uh, maybe three and clone them and let's find is there a bad one in there there's a mediocre one get rid of the mediocre one and that should help clear out this truck station so i'm going to let the game play for a little while because i need more money i am making money if you take a look at my earnings but my bank account's only about seven hundred and twenty six thousand dollars so I need more money than that if I want to build more infrastructure. So it's around January 1865. We'll let the game play for a little while and then we'll come back.
So it's now September 29th, 1865. My bank account's around a million dollars and I'm making money. But if I want to make more money, I gotta build more train and train lines. So what I'm thinking is that perhaps a passenger train line from Colorado Springs to Naperville ought to do it for me. It's not too far, but I think I can over time build a line there and add a train. And the good thing about passenger trains is there's zero deadheading because it'll carry passengers going both ways. Now, why would I want to put a line between Colorado Springs and Naperville? I don't want to cross the river just yet. And if I look up and down the map, probably the a line that goes Colorado Springs down to Oxnard and maybe farther down and to Naperville and on to Las Vegas and perhaps points farther on would make a good passenger line throughout the entire map. So again, using a simple approach, I'm going to simply keep my cargo trains for now separate from my passenger trains because cargo trains slow down passenger trains. So you see them slowing down passenger trains in real life in North America. So for now, I'm going to keep them separate. So let's go to our trains, buildings, a passenger station. I'll go with one track. 120 meters and right about here. Spin that around a little bit and go right about there. Then we'll go in a little closer and we'll build a road to it. I don't need any tram track. There's a road, and there we got a connection. We're gonna blow up that house, but that's okay. Now I need a bus station. So I'll put that down here. I don't want tram tracks. That should be the right size. We'll spin that around. So it doesn't look so wonky. There we go. Now what I need is a bus route or bus routes plural to connect to the Colorado Springs sidings bus station. So let's click on our roads again, our bus stations, and we'll try to make a somewhat circular route going both ways. And then down here, and right about there. And that should be enough. It's probably more than enough. Now I need to create the bus lines to go along with that. Well, we'll go this way. And we'll go around. I guess now we're going counterclockwise, if you like clocks. That didn't catch. There we go. And I'll simply call it, well, Colorado bus number one. Now I'll create a bus line going the other way. Click on that, new line, and we'll go around the other way. So people can choose which way they want to go, or what's the most efficient way, I guess, to get to the train station. All right, and we better give them a few buses. So all we have for a passenger vehicle is a horse-drawn carriage, so that makes the selection process pretty easy. 
All right, bus number one. And we'll add some other vehicles to the other line. And I should go back and rename that line that's in blue, give it a more distinctive name. So let's call it, well, I want to call it Colorado bus number two. It could be something more elaborate, but that works for me. So I'm going to hit play, but just on a slower speed, regular speed. Let's buy some vehicles. Well, actually, let's just check something. I already did buy some vehicles. Yeah, there's the green ones. Did I buy any for the blue line? I did. Now it looks like our truck station is, yeah, it's overloading. So let's buy a couple more trucks for the Colorado food trucks. Go to cargo. Buy three and assign them. So over here in Naperville, I need a train station. So first, let's just do some road fixing up or some road building. Go to streets. I want city streets. Don't want tram tracks. Let's make that a loop. Always costly when I blow out houses, but I know that. Let me go to trains, train station, and we'll just put a 120 meter single track train station in for passengers. And line that up nice and straight, and I can't afford that. I'm in trouble. So let's borrow a few bucks to get our bank account up and give us some equity that we can work with. All right. Just pause the game. Now I can build that train station I wanted. So I want a passenger station, 120 meters, and one track. And to support that, we need a bus station. We'll need a tram track. And we'll just spin that around. There we go. Then we'll add some bus stops. So we'll just kind of go here. I know there's nothing there right now, but I think if I put bus stops there, that'll encourage the city to grow. Over here, and then there. There may be one more right there. I guess that's two more. Then we'll put lines to it. So we'll have one bus line go this way. around the city and I will rename that so let's call it Naperville bus number one it's not incredibly creative but it does the job I guess I want to put a capital N on Naperville, don't I? Then we'll add another bus line. And we'll go around the other way. There we go. Because we got to feed that train station. And you guess it, I'm going to call it Naperville bus number two.
So let's add a depot in Naperville because we need it and we don't have one yet. Just spin that around. Add that. Then we'll buy some, I call them buses, but they're not really buses yet. They are horse-drawn carriages. We'll buy three. And assign them to Naperville bus number one. And I'll buy another three. And assign them to Naperville bus number two. And hit play. And now I can build a headquarters. So I'm going to build my headquarters in Colorado Springs. It's the city I started with, so it just makes logical sense to me. And I probably want it somewhere near a train station, whether it's a cargo one or a passenger one, but it, technically it could be anywhere. From what I understand, I don't think it really matters where you put it. So we'll go to the account. Headquarters. Build. Put that out of the way. And then spin that. Try to line it up as best I can. And there's our headquarters. Now if I want a passenger train between Colorado Springs and Naperville, I guess I gotta build some track and I don't have a lot of money. So I'd like to have a double track, but I think I can only afford a single track, if that. So yeah, my bank account's going up a little bit, so let's just build a single track. So we'll start over here in Naperville and just build some track i don't want it parallel and we'll just build it in little spurts because i don't want it to jack up and cost me a lot of money and we'll go past this guy and we'll keep going And we're headed to here. We should be able to connect those at this point. And we can. Now at this point, I think it's cheaper for me to build a depot right here than it is to build track all the way over to here. So let's do that. Spin that around. Oop, spun it too much. Line it up perpendicular. And put some track in. I'll just put enough track in to get it to the station. It won't go both ways because I'm really tight for money. And put in a signal. Not that that's an issue just yet, but it will be in the future. So right now it's December of 1867. I'm losing money and I need another train badly. So I'm going to set up that line and I'm going to borrow some money because I think I have to. Let's just hit pause. And I'm going to add a train line from Colorado Springs Central all the way to Naperville. I'm going to go to my bank account here. I'm at $9 million, so this is my last chance. I've got one point, almost $1.4 million, and I'm right up against it now with a $10 million loan. So back at our train depot, what can I buy for about $1.4 million? Probably not a lot. So I'll go to the steam engines. There's the general. There's one general. And how many passenger wagons could I add to that? There's one, two. Okay, we got two. So we'll buy that. And we'll assign it to our line one. I keep forgetting to give those meaningful names. So hit play. And I'll just manage that line by giving it a better name. Of 
course, the most logical would be Colorado Springs. GS to Naperville. And I want to put a capital in Naperville. Okay, so now we have the passenger train going between Colorado Springs and Naperville. And although it's empty right now, as this line starts going, that should start to heat up. And what I want to do is make sure I have enough carriages or buses to support this train line. So I'm going to speed things up. I'm going to have to let the game play for a while. It's February of 1868, but I'm seriously low on cash. Seriously low. So let's speed it up. Let's let the game play for a while, and hopefully we'll get out of the red and into the blue and start making some cash. So here we are in December of 1869. I've got my passenger train going. It's got 10 out of 28 passengers in terms of capacity. It's losing a little money right now, but I hopefully that'll gain itself back up over time. And there I go, losing some more money. Well, it's now March of 1870. My numbers are in the blue, so I'm making money. My bank account's not very high, so I'm on the razor's edge when it comes to my budget. Well, our biggest step forward we made today was that we were able to add our first passenger train line without totally blowing our budget. I'm awful close, but we haven't totally blown it yet. But we are on the razor's edge financially. We've borrowed $10 million, and I got nowhere to go in terms of borrowing more money. But I guess that's the balancing act when it comes to this game. My approach may not be glitzy and ingenious, but it works and it's straightforward. And if I can make money in this game, so can you. If you have any questions, please note them below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. So what comes next in building our transportation network? Well, the answer to that lies in the next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button below right now and click on the bell so you don't miss out on more great content. Click on that box in the bottom left hand corner right now to see a video you're almost guaranteed to love. This video was selected just for you by YouTube. And they know what you like. So what are you waiting for? Click on that box now, sit back, relax, and enjoy another video.